Hey, 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 what do you say? Street Dreams Rocks today. Hey, today I want to talk about how to make gecko keychains. Here's one of my gecko keychains I already made. I have another one. And another. And another. So we're going to make these today. So these ones are already already made. I made about four already. And I have a little container. Um, you can sort stuff in here. You can put little stickers and add stuff. You can sort your beads in here. You would want to buy opponent beads. Opponent beads. It might look like it's upside down, but it says opponent beads. And then that's how much I have of beads. And you can do them in any type of color you want. Today I'm going to be using boarding string, cord string, natural boarding cord string. It's this type of a cord string where you can just easily kind of put your string on your geckos. And I'm going to show you from a brown. I'm going to use a brown. You want to make sure your string is really long. Like, it's kind of too long. Like long. So that way you have extra width. So then you would cut it, take your scissors, and then you would also want to buy um, these two. These are keychain clips and like key rings, like different types, and you can hook it to your backpack, give it to a friend. Yeah. So, so today this need is for the kids who have cancer. All the kids that have cancer at Sutter's Hospital. So that's one of my needs. So I'm, I'm going to take a purple point of bead. Just open these beads. Open them. See? Take one of these. But sure, first make sure that you take these out. You open your little keychains. Grab any keychain holder. I have different kinds, but little key ring holders. Then you want to line up your thing like that, like so. Then stick it through the loop, the key ring loop. Pull through like that. And tie a little knot. That way the beads won't fall out. So you take whatever opponent bead you have, stick it through your left string, grab your opposite string, this one, stick it through. See how I'm going like this, and it's right there. You have two that looks like this. Now you pull, and this is going to be the beginning of your gecko. My gecko is going to be purple and blue. So now I take two opponent colors like this and take your left string again. And it goes like this. You have two on there like that. You take your opposite string, 
And then you're going to take your opposite string on the other side and push it all through the beads and pull it through. Now I'm going to grab another color to make the eyes. This is just the face of your gecko. Gonna look something something like this. It's gonna look something like that. Hold on. Something like this. Okay. And then you can use any of your colors. My colors are going to be purple and see-through ponit beads. That's what I have, just by the way. There's a lot of different opponent beads, but I prefer the see-through kind because I think those are really cool to use. So, purple. I learned this in school, so like now I'm homeschooled, so it's easier for me to do since I'm home. School, get it? Homeschool. I hope you guys get that. Yeah. Okay. So anywho, I'm at home and I'm at schooling. See? And then um, still going regular school. I'm homeschooled. So. Uh, So now you have something that looks like that. It's very pretty. I like this one because it's purple and blue. Now I'm going to make the front of its paws. So. You might need two for the legs. On your left side string. You just stick it through. Now you take three blues, clear blues. It could be any color for you guys, but I'm using blue, so. And then you're just, same thing, you're just putting it on the left side string. Sorry, this is going to be a really long video. And then, you should have something that looks like this. So then, you take your left string again, and you go in, in the two purple beads or whatever you want to call those. You pull it through your gecko. You pull, pull, pull. And you should have something that looks like your first front paw. Now I'm going to do the other side. I'm doing the opposite string. Opposite string. Then you take the opposite string, and then it has it like that again. Then you need to add one more. I forgot to add one more blue before I beat. So I'm going to add another color. 
because it's straight for your front paws. So then you take your opposite string and push it through all of those beads. Same thing as the front paw. So it should look something like that. Or like, if I can focus, that. Then you pull it through. So now you have something that looks something a little like this. So it has your front paws. Okay, I'm gonna finish my gecko. Hopefully you guys got it now. I don't need to explain. It's the same thing for the bottom. And then for the tail, you need about six opponent beads at the end and then you're done. So I'm gonna finish up my gecko real quick. So the body piece, again, you're only going to need three of your body parts. The third row, you see that third row where it's purple, clear blue, purple? Well, right here, you're only going to need three of those rows. I made one, my first one, and then it, it came out a little too, too long and linky for the back. So then I, I made up um three backs and then it was a, it was a lot way more better it's a lot easier to make your geckos and you always want to make sure you have extra long cord string or string any type of house string yarn don't use yarn string because it won't push through but string like regular beading string that goes through you can go to any craft store michael's um would be a the best one in Walmart. I like going Walmart for all my crafting material. Walmart's pretty good and okay. It's good deals. That's where I got all my opponent beads from. By the way, I got it from Walmart. You can go to Michaels and all that other sorts of crafting. Or you can look at it online. You can go to Amazon. Yeah. Right now I'm putting on my second, third row, and then I'm gonna quit talking and then finish up my little gecko guy. And then it's gonna be the same thing with the front paws as gonna be the back paws. So, wait a minute. So, you're right here at your third row. I want to mention to you at your third row, you would want to put two remaining colors at the end of your opponent bead. So, my pattern is purple, blue, clear. So, I'm going to put two purples for the butt part of your gecko. You don't necessarily need a lighter, but if you want a lighter to make it stay better, that's fine, but you don't necessarily need a lighter. If you're using cord string, because, um, so now you should look something a lot more like this. Now I'm getting ready to put the paws on, the back paws, or like how the front paws are. So you would want to grab the same pattern 